Please, I want you to burn. Uh, yes, I want you to burn. I want you to smile. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 13 verse 14 says, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The communion is the fellowship. First of all, he said the grace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God. Now, the Holy Spirit cannot work where there is no love. And I will explain. Praise the Lord. Where there is no love, the Holy Spirit cannot work. He said the grace of the of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So the Holy Spirit is longing for communion with us. Praise the Lord. If you have ever had a baby, has anybody have a baby here? But have you had a baby before? If you have had a baby before, it, babies love to cling. Even the six-year-old boy still clings. A 12-year-old boy still clings to the mom. When my mom was alive, I was still clinging to her. So everybody loves... So if you see somebody as a patriarch, a matriarch, you still cling. So the Holy Spirit needs fellowship. He wants communion with us. Praise the Lord. So we are to look at knowing the Holy Spirit, partnering with the Holy Spirit, participating in the relationship with the Holy Spirit. Are you guys here with me? Because Jesus said, I will send... Don't forget what Jesus said. He said, I will send another comfort. I'm just trying to lay a foundation. I want you to remember that it's not Guru Maharaj that sent the Holy Spirit. It's not a prophet that sent the Holy Spirit. It's not Elijah. It's not John the Baptist. Are you guys here with me? The first person that announced the Holy Spirit is who? Jesus Christ. He says, I will send. It was not Abel that sent the Holy Spirit. It was not Father Abraham. Are you guys here with me? Because I've had some errors going on. People just say things anyhow. So the Holy Spirit was sent by Jesus. So the Holy Spirit glorifies Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So anybody that says he has the Holy Spirit cannot glorify somebody else. Are you guys here with me? When the Holy Spirit is in working in somebody's life, he glorifies Jesus Christ. So if you say you are moving by the power of the Holy Spirit, you won't say, oh, uh, I, I, I pray for you, blah, blah, blah. Then you now start calling something else. If there's no Jesus Christ in the way you honor the Holy Spirit, then it's not complete. Praise the Lord. Now, the Holy Ghost, most people think that um, is just to give you direction. It's more than direction. Sir, no, 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 no worry. The Spirit will, will, will tell us what to do. It's a big slap. It's a big slap on the face of Trinity for, for, for Jesus to send the Holy Ghost for sake of direction alone. Please, can you give me that scripture again? John chapter 14, verse 16. Remember, it's important, it's important, it's important. It's important that you and I rob our mind with the divine. Because what you rob your mind on, rubs on you. Are you guys here with me? If you are wearing white shirt and you rub your, yourself against somebody selling red oil, your, your shirt will be rough. That's the same thing that as believers, that's how your mind is. If you rub your minds with something that is not of God, if you rub your mind with something that is of the gutter, then that might be part of you. And that is why most of us, even, even in church, we sing some secular songs. Not because you want to sing it. But I'm telling you, if you stand in a place where they play secular song for one hour, with earphone, everything, if you leave that place and go home, I can bet it with you, by the time you wake up tomorrow, you won't know when you'll be doing, I'm in love with the shape of you. you you're like, ah, Jesus, where, where did that come from? It was where you stood. It was the rubbing of your mind against, against what was happening there. Are you guys here with me? So, now, I want to be careful how I say this because it's, it's more like, like physics. Because see, the intensity of what you rub, what, what you, the degree of what you rub your mind on, that is what influences you. So, if you neglect the place of the Holy Spirit, then what are you rubbing your mind with? Then what? Because the Holy Spirit is the power of God. 
is the spirit of God. Are you here with me? Then Jesus came, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. The paracletos. Give me that in message. We can just read this and go home. Are you guys here with me? The preaching English says, I go tell my papa making sent another person. We go do it in now. We go do you well. Now me can't do you well. But I go come to my papa say, making sent somebody else. We will come do you better. I think of that. If not 10 million I they give you before, I will tell my papa say, making sent person will give you one trillion, one trillion dollars. You're like, eh? You go say, hey, Papa. But that don't know me say, the person will don't come before we give you 10 million dollars. You, you don't try. The guy still try, right? But that one trillion dollar goes do it in. You go hard. So this was happening. Say, so I will talk to the father. He will provide you another friend so that you will always have someone with you. So I'm a God carrier. I'm kind of Holy Ghost. Come and say, I'm kind of Holy Ghost. Come and say, I'm kind of Holy Ghost. Do you know the reason why some of you have not opened shops and started prostitution is because you are kind the Holy Ghost. The only reason why some of us have not become assassins is because we are carrying the Holy Ghost. The only reason why some, some, some of us have not carried drug to Thailand is because we are carrying the Holy Ghost. Because, the, because you cannot carry something as precious as the Holy Ghost and your life will not be arranged. I pray for you that your life will remain arranged in the name of Jesus. So when you rub minds with the Holy Ghost, what do you think happens to you? Come on, talk to me, guys. Come on, talk to me, guys. All right, let's say it like this. How many of you have taken a glass of lemon before? Or you have taken that lemon uh, stuff before? So, brother, so, brother Dave, when you took, uh, took that lemon, what happened to your face? How did it change? You know, if you take lemon, you just like, you like, ah. There's a way that you just, just shudder, you know. I watched a video of a baby on uh, Instagram. I think that was the first time that the baby would take, um, would take that lemon. So you just got small lemon, you just put it in the toddler's mouth. So, it, so, so, so the baby just, just took it. He didn't know. He just like him. They, they just let him. <laughs> because that thing just eats the baby. But if the baby are taking something sweet, like Fanta, probably if you take Fanta, you know, if you take Fanta, you know that there's a pleasant look on your face. <laughs> I have a theory that I propounded. And I've told people that this works. I said, anytime you don't feel too good, I, I need to smile. Probably, you probably need to just smile or put a smile on your face. I said, get a bottle of very cold Fanta. Pour it in the glass and just, and just sip it. There's a way that that configuration just changes everything, you know? So the Holy Ghost is more than that. Are you guys here with me? The Holy Ghost changes the configuration of your life from within. Are you guys here with me? That is how important he is. Are you guys here with me? Now, we are talking about um, um, fellowship with the Holy Spirit. So let's really talk about fellowship then. We'll now go to some other things. Remember, I said that if you allow the Holy Spirit, it can do much more than guide you. The Holy Spirit is not Uber. It's not taxify. It's not boat. It's not there to just carry you somewhere. It's not that in that's a carry me, they go... Uh, it's more than that. Are you guys here with me? It's more than directing you. It's not a traffic. The Holy Spirit is more than being a traffic warden. We have reduced him. You know, see, that's why that song, I have made you too small in my heart. Oh Lord, forgive me. Because I have believed in a lie that you were unable to help me. But now, oh Lord, I see my wrong. In my heart, and show yourself strong, and in my heart and in my song, oh Lord, be magnified. You know, so because you are now realized, but now, oh Lord, I see my wrong. 
There's a wrong there we are all doing to the Holy Spirit. You have not put him where he should be. God says, put him where he should be and see how your life straightens out. Are you guys here with me? They were living in Egypt. And Moses put the children of Issachar where? In front. David, why did Moses put the children of Issachar in front? Follow Uno Road now. Are you, know, are you, you know? Follow Uno Road. Is that because, is that because the, the children of, of uh, Issachar, they have an understanding of the, of the times. They knew what direction. Are you guys here with me? Listen to me. Don't get distracted. They knew, they, they, they understand the, the times and they knew what course that the children of Israel should take. The Holy Ghost is more than that. Are you here with me, guys? It's more than that. So how do I fellowship with him? What's the content of fellowship? The word fellowship means you koinonia. It means that you are relating in the same front. Are you guys here with me? Number one, worship. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just mention them. Number one, worship. Number two, prayer. Because you remember that prayer... Now, listen to me. This is not a stereotypical message. God is saying something to you. So I'm not going to teach about prayer or worship. We are saying God is telling us something. So I'm not teaching about a particular subject. I'm just talking. You just need to have an understanding about this. Praise the Lord. If you can get this, your life will be better. Are you guys here about me? Earlier this year, between December last year and earlier this year, I felt like going to Lagos. I was thinking of going to Lagos. I was, I was already planning. I was already thinking of, I was thinking of house rent. What of my, my children and my wife? I'll leave them here. Then I'll just go. You know? But I knew that. You don't do anything until you follow who now? The Holy Spirit. Why am I going? Not because we thought I'm going for ministry sake. But when you, but when you consider the Holy Spirit, how do you consider him? Fellowship with him by worshiping him. Worship means you adore him. Are you guys here with me? Let me say this in, in, in Yoruba. Ebo Ebo is sacrifice, right? You know how you know how you know how 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 how, how you carry it. Just arrange it and not carry it and you know. Enter mama into a ma bo a mimi money. Ah, so far I say bo 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 bo. You will allow my bo. You worship, you adore. Worship is more than songs. Worship is more than uh, you are the flower in my garden. You are the leader of the garden. You are, no. Worship is that your art is you, you you have surrendered your art and say, Holy Spirit, it's only you. I bow before you. I bow down and worship you. Then you pray. That is you, you interact, you communicate front and back. Not that you shout at God all night. Smith Wigglesworth said, Why will I shout at God all night when I can? Be quiet, settle down, and listen to him speak for five minutes. He said, if I can God, get God's attention for five minutes. He said, if I can be patient to hear God for five minutes. He said, it's better than shouting at him all night. I'm not knocking off praying all night. Though. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not knocking out. But you see that method of shouting at God? Oh, do it. Oh, do it. Oh, do it. Oh, Lord, you will do it. Because you said, yeah, what? that's what you will do. Oh, God, I do it. I'm just saying that there's another better method of having a life that listens to the Holy Spirit. Of having a life that obeys the Holy Spirit. Whereby you just ask him and he tells you simple. Don't go after that lady. Don't do that course. That job, don't take it. Even though the salary is 850,000 naira, don't take it. Take this one that the salary is 500k. The Holy Spirit will, will tell you things like that. Are you guys here with me? So you must choose a place that is quiet. The Holy Spirit is not a DJ. Come on now, guys. Talk to me here. 
The Holy Spirit is not a DJ. The Holy Spirit is not David Oboni. That will be that will be trying to get you to dance. That will come on Sunday and be whining for you and get no. The, the Holy Spirit is a person. He's here for you. Is 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 lower lower and lower is present in terms of need. Are you guys here with me? Is there? Is with you. You are the one that will now sit down. Are you guys here with me? I watched a movie. I learned something. Something happened to that woman. Several things. She was tired of shouting. She went to her room and said, <laughs> "She sat on her bed. They should carry this too and put this on." I said, "God, sit down, my Lord." I said, "My Lord, what happened?" If it has not, if you have not learned that, that is the new thing to learn. If you preserve your life this year, go to a quiet place. Are you guys here with me? Go to a quiet place to meet with God, where you have no interruptions. It is best you have this quiet time alone, not with your fiance, not with your wife, not with your children. Sometimes I have, I have to bribe at home that they should please just help me take care of my younger son. Just take, just let me just pet him so that you won't, you won't come and disturb him. Are you guys here with me? If it is Dubai that you can travel to, to have one week with the Holy Spirit, go there and, and just enter the room and just lock up and just say, Holy Spirit, I'm here. No phones, no TV, no nothing. Whatever you wanted to tell me a year ago that I've not been hearing, I'm sorry. I apologize. Have mercy, Lord. Holy Spirit, speak for your servant here. So that all these mistakes we have been making in the body of Christ, all these mistakes we have been making will not happen. We need to get back to the place of the Holy Spirit. Not to the place of strategy. You see, forget strategy. Look up to the Holy Spirit. When I started early in ministry, when I started, I was reading books on strategies, on stuff, how to preach, topics to preach, registered on places, how to know how to whatever. You know when you finish preaching and you yourself, you are tired. The people listening to you, they are yawning. But now, when, when God gives me a word now, in the place of the Spirit, when God gives me a word, I am blessed because I don't study to preach to you. I study to equip myself. And so today I was like, I had several eureka moments. I was like, wow, wow. When I learned that, the, 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 the Holy Spirit is my advantage. I, I know that before, but I didn't, of course, the Holy Spirit is my advantage. Then I now learned that you can weaponize the Holy Spirit. People are, are weaponizing him and say, Holy Ghost fire! Fall on people, kill people. That's not the intent. Are you guys here with me? The Holy Spirit is not there to be weaponized. He's there for you to use. Are you guys helping me? Romans 5.5 5 says, the, the Holy Spirit shares God's love abroad in our heart. Whatever you do to another believer that does not have love sandwiched in between, is not sanctioned by the Holy Spirit. You now carry all your family members, all your relatives. You now call them. But Mark, Holy Ghost fire, fall on you. Uh, Sister Juliet, Holy Ghost fire, fall on you. Uh, my auntie Wede Ijebu, Holy Ghost fire, born you die. That is not the plan. And that was like when James and John, when they were going to pass through Samaria, and they asked Jesus Christ, Jesus, should we go and, at this point, didn't allow us to pass. Let's call down fire. Jesus Christ said, ah, 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 ah. They say, no, you know not what manner of men you are. You are not called to cut fire on people. Uh, are people demons? Uh -uh. I will not say, oh, what brother Dave has done for me. I told Dave to do this. Dave didn't do this. Holy Ghost fire as he's on that bike. Let fire strike. Abba, 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 Abba. Body of Christ, Abba, Abba, Abba. Now, what you remember that? She got those work on nearby. Abba. I'm not saying you shouldn't pray against some people. But that's not the plan. That's not the original plan. 
Are you guys there with me? The Holy Spirit has been given to comfort you. To comfort you. Praise the Lord. So the quality of your time, look for, search for quality instead of quantity. Don't come and tell me that I, I, I spent 10 hours in God's presence. 10 hours of pressing phone, replying WhatsApp, uh, this thing. Of watching AFCON. You were on a retreat. You still have time to watch Arsenal and Chelsea. Oh, I can't miss this match. It's Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Abbe. just excuse me. I say, Kino Shebo Boss, Boba Sakai. Go Kong Chekini. Ori O Tek Pentia. Holy Spirit, no. Ori O Pentia. After you watch for 90 minutes, you have abused everybody. You now write, write on your status. <laughs> F or Chelsea's Arsenal for life. You now come and I say, okay, <laughs> Holy Spirit, Jerry. Nibu, nibu, okay, Holy Ghost, you and I will change the world. It's not only the world you change, it's your village you change, you change together. Some of us think that God is God is so stupid that God does not, that God is just a relic. How can you think the person who made you is a relic? Are you guys here with me? How can you think the man who made you is a relic? How can you think the being who made you is a relic? How can you see God as a piece of old junk? And that the power he has put, and that the spirit he has put on the inside of you, does not matter. It does matter. Praise the Lord. Choose a time. Choose a place. Are you guys here with me? Ask the Holy Spirit to be your teacher. I have scriptures to quote, but time. Meditate on the word. Proverbs 4.20 Write down what God is impressing in your heart. Write it down. You see, writing down. Journaling does not make you start doing. Somebody said, one woman of God said, she told her parents that she will marry her husband when she was 8 years old. I read the message. She just told, uh, Josh is going to be my husband. And the, and the mom ate. But they didn't marry. It was until when they grew up that they got married that she now remembered that. They now told her that this is what he said. But that God is telling you something now does not mean you should start now. It might be in the next 20 years. It might be in the next 15 years. Do you know when God told me that I'll be a trainer, a conference speaker? 1998, 99. And after he told me, I came for training where I was still cleaning cars, driving around, and washing cars. <laughs> Did you that conference? Is that conference training? I was still ironing and speaking in tongues, black, cool, sharp, and that. Ever. You're in university, you just said that God said that, I, that, that I'm raising you as an apostle to the nations. And the next day, you print name, everything. Then you start a fellowship near far, uh, far, far culture of education. Call, call a few friends that you. I want to umbo. The boys that are hungry that you give indomie to. Of course, they will follow you. You now stay. Now say this is now the ap ap this is now the apostolic apostolic network. The Lord told me three weeks ago apostolic. Then you now. Of course, God can ask you to start, but God God will never call you to start something without training. He, there are presidents. How are you guys here with me? There are presidents. Jesus trained for 30 years for three year ministry. 200 level. God told you 100 level. You now came near a three and said, This is the apostolic network. You see, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is like a kulo. You know how the Holy Spirit moves? That's why the Holy Spirit moves like, it's, it's like warm. Tie your tongue like warm. You need to understand these things. There's patience in the, in, the, in the kingdom. Are you guys here with me? Patience is a virtue of the spirit. If I is the Holy Spirit that, that, that works that out in you. Meekness. Long suffering. Praise the Lord. I wore one black trouser for one year. Over one year. I, said. I used the same shoe. Black shoe for one year. But oh yeah, I didn't even know that the shoe had holes. It was when there was, it was one raining day that I was coming to office, church office. I was like, ah, 
I was not, I was just feeling wet. I was like, why am I feeling wet? And he, I didn't know. I didn't know that there was hole under the shoe. Then the socks I touched uh, some some water, and so my my body was now cold because of the socks. We didn't just jump into sneakers. Boom. Those adverts, don't let the advert determine how you run your ministry or life. Advert will tell you, you're at home. You don't have a job. Then, pa! You just got an idea. Pa! You just registered it. Pa! After you registered it, pa! Customers just came. Pa! You just bought a Venza. And pa! He just got married, Dave. And poo! just gave birth. Then you now start rolling. Oh, get into the yellow light. Oh, once you use this. 10 gig, you get a million. It's not like that, though. Are you guys here with me? You still have to marry. Your wife will get pregnant for nine months. You think God was mad <laughs> when he said, okay, a woman get months for nine months. Elephants. Elephants, their own is, is like a year. Except if you want to have a rat ministry. Rat ministry every three, three weeks. They give birth. Mosquito, they die every week. They give birth too. But after one week of ministry, they are dead. If you want to have a, a, a mosquito ministry or a tortoise ministry, some tortoise have lived for 500 years. Wisdom ministry. Are you not shocked that they use tortoise to replicate wisdom? Because wisdom is always, oh, God has changed this. Because wisdom always, is always, it takes time to build. But if you want mosquito, rats, cockroach, if you cut off the head of a cockroach, you can live for two weeks. So if you want to have that kind of ministry, where after they cut off your, your head, you are still living without head, headless. All those things have spiritual significance. And God is talking to somebody here that this is a time when you, when you align with the Holy Spirit. You can never hear what the Holy Spirit is saying by shouting or where, or where people are. And that's why even people that are not Christians, when they take time out to meditate, they get, they get ideas. Are you guys here with me? So allow nothing to stand between you and your fellowship with, 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 with God. You see, make sure you don't skip your quiet time. You must have quiet time every day. If, you, if your job is not too demanding, make the entire day your quiet time. If you don't do Omalanke, you don't work in Lagos, you are not a conductor. For crying out loud, you work in an office where there is AC. You have your peace. Your work is on the system. Plug in one song about the Holy Spirit. Plug it in your ear for two hours. And just let it calm your nerves. Are you here with me? Are you here with me? Do fellowship or worship as you go. If you can, see, if you can recharge your line as you go. If you can recharge data as you go. If you can talk to Ziggy as you go. You must be able to worship as you go. Are you guys here with me? While they were in the desert, they were supposed to be worshiping God. Are you guys here with me? Be full of the Spirit. 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18. I will have to break this down into two. Next week, we will finish. 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18. It says, as you behold him, you become changed into his image. Are you guys here with me? Now, what you they see, now you they look like. Are you guys here with me? One of the people that I want to dress like in life is Richard Moffat Damager. I like the way he's slim. I like the way he's slick. I like the way he dresses. And I like that at 60, he's still looking happy. He's still looking trendy. And I want to... So once his stomach can go down, we begin. Come on, say we begin. <laughs> Life begins at 60. I'm warming up. Are you here with me? To so my wife, he, he, he never finished. We're just getting started. So let's get it on. So I'm gonna, but we all with open face, building as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory. 
Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Change from one level of glory to another. You can't remain on a level for, for, for long. It's the Holy Spirit that takes you from this level to that level to that level. It's an endless, eternal level. Are you guys there with me? You never say you have arrived. You make your first million, then start looking at 10 million. You make your first 10 million, start looking at 100 million. You make your first 100 million, start looking at 1 billion. Make your first 1 billion, start looking at 100. Start. There, there, there are possibilities in Christ Jesus. Are you guys there with me? Never be satisfied with where you are. But be content. Be fulfilled in Christ Jesus. Fellowship is a powerful word. What you rob your mind on. If you have not learned this day, what you rob your mind on rubs off on you. Are you guys there with me? The iron sharpened wood can never sharpen iron, my brother. Are you guys there with me? You know, my wife was taking our lectures in when, before she became a child accountant. Oh, I got to understand lecturers. She was supposed to download a course for 15,000 naira on Play Store. She was supposed to download something. So I said, before you download, let's read the reviews. I read the reviews on, on those courses. I saw that it was only it was somebody like the man's sister or the wife that wrote the review and few people. I said, I said, yeah, I don't understand though. I don't understand it. But the people that helped my wife the most when she was doing her first pass her before she became child, I was that the people that those that naturally knew those things, those that were genius at it, those that didn't struggle. My wife always said, ah, this guy is good. This guy is just, this guy is, there was a guy that my, my, my wife now is recommending that guy to people. And the guy is not even well known. The ones that are well known, they don't know how to teach. You see, it's something else for you to know something and to know how to impart. But some people, they know it first. We, as, they know him. The concept be teacher. So Jesus, he knows, he is in touch with the feelings of your infirmity. He know him. He know how he be to suffer. He know how he be. Then that's okay. You know what? I'll give you the Holy Spirit. We go help you. So the Holy Spirit is the tutor. Is it? Is your life coach? Is your? There is no motivation anywhere. It's the Holy Spirit that is your life. Is the tutor. As a believer, if you would do exploit, it's the Holy Spirit. He encourages you. He comforts you. Are you guys here with me? As you behold him, you become what? Changed into his image. From glory to glory. That FIFA game that they play, that DLS, that game that they play, when they were making that game, the skill sets that they used in that game were, were, were people's skill sets that they transferred onto the system. They simulated the skill set onto the system. Skills, only one person will start it. Leg over. All those things. Only one person, the others will now learn. So the only person, all the powers are counterfeiting. All the powers that have, that have heads but can't walk. They have legs but they can't walk. They have mouth. They can't talk. Everything they are counterfeiting is who? The Holy Spirit. And that's the Holy Ghost. May he, may he burn all the dross in your life in the name of Jesus. Instead of unleashing the Holy Ghost fire outside, may it cleans up, may it clean up your life for you in the name of Jesus. Fellowship is a place of grace. Come and say, fellowship is a place of grace. 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 You contact grace by fellowshipping with the person of the Father. More grace and more grace. May the Lord strengthen you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord enlighten the eyes of your understanding to see what God is teaching us in the name of Jesus. May we have the patience to learn from the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I want everybody to rise up on their feet and just lift up your hands and say, Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit. Help me. Say, help me. Say, help me. Say, help me. Born within me. Say, born within me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Manifesting your people, be demonstrable in their life in the name of Jesus. 
have your free course in this place. For we are prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just celebrate the Holy Spirit. Just celebrate. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How many of us were blessed with that? All right. So,